What's going on you guys, Endeavor here, back to do a new video for y'all. So, I've been, I was playing the Battlefield 4 beta, and I was thinking, you know what, I think I'm kind of done. Like, I'm feeling done. Feeling kind of done with, like, shooters. Which is sad, because I should have been saying that years ago, but Battlefield's been the one thing saving it. The one thing that was saving it. Now, my personal impression of Battlefield 3, that was pretty good. It was alright. That's was pretty good. It's not Bad Company 2. That is one of my all-time favorite games, hands down. Bad Company 2. And the original Battlefield 2 for PC back in 2005. Those are some of my favorite games ever. Logged many, 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 many hours into those games. At least 150 hours or so into Battlefield 2 alone. Um, so those games are really good, really great games, but I think I'm kind of done with the same damn shooter. The problem is the shooter comes out every single year, and Battlefield wasn't so bad about it, but now they do it. A new shooter every year, almost. Battlefield not, okay fine, not really, because last game came out, what, 2011, I guess that was? So I guess it's been a while, but I mean, like... I look on there in Battlefield 4, the beta, the beta advertises premium, in the beta, pre-order premium or whatever the hell if you want to, and they're already advertising, it'll come with six map packs, you haven't even launched the game yet, and you know that there'll be six, it's not even like, okay, okay, like, hey, you know, Gears of War 3, you release a season pass with it, and you're gonna get access to all the content that comes out after this, all the map pack content, not all the stupid skin crap, but it's like, hey, we're making this game, and it's coming out pretty soon. And there's already six map packs. It's like, it's not even out yet, dude. Are you serious? And, like, don't get me wrong. If, I'm gonna, if, if, if you're going to play any shooting game, if you're going to play any online shooting game, please play Battlefield. Don't play Call of Duty. It's a waste of your time. So stupid. So stupid. So stupid. Oh, so stupid. Play Battlefield, okay? Play Battlefield. Battlefield is really, really good. But, like, I was playing the beta... And again, this is this may also be because it was it was still a PlayStation 3. It's not a next gen platform. Um, I would probably get it for the Xbox One whenever it would come out. Um, but I'm just like, ah, oh, no, it's like Battlefield 3 like peaks out on like the PlayStation 3 and like the 360 hardware. I see it like peaking out. And so when I played this beta, like, this beta looked like junk. And, 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 and admittedly, the betas look really bad. Battlefield 3, 3 beta, everybody remembers that. That thing was awful. Abysmal beta. But it's like, this beta didn't look any better than Battlefield 3. So they've maxed out the capabilities of the hardware. They, they cannot push it any further. They can only change what they do in the gameplay. Which is fine, because that's what next gen's for. It's for upping the graphics level. But they cannot push this gameplay. They had to push this gameplay forward. And I'm just... I'm afraid I'm no longer interested in Battlefield. Which I never thought I'd say. I don't know. I don't know what to think. But I had a very negative time with that beta. It was not enjoyable. Uh, and, and overall, the thing about it was, was like... When, when I played the Bad Company demo, I was like, oh my god, there's a... Battlefield game for console that's not Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, which is pretty, pretty unlikable. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is awesome. This is cool. Bad Company 2 came out. Oh my god. Bad Company 2. I played that beta when it launched. Oh, I wrecked shop on everybody. That was so much fun. No one knew how to play Battlefield because they're all a bunch of console idiots. It was amazing. It felt great to play that. And then Battlefield 3 beta came out. That was junk. But... I, there was still like this, like, hey, Battlefield 3's coming out. I'm a little excited to play this beta. Like, I booted up Battlefield. I downloaded Battlefield 4. I put up the video this morning. I downloaded Battlefield 4. I, po I played it this afternoon or evening, and I was just like... Like, I, I started up, and I was like, I'm not even interested in starting this up. Like, I have no desire to play this game. And then, like, when I started playing it, I was just kind of thinking about how I wasn't really interested in it. Like, they're just kind of like, mm, mm, mm. I'm not bad. I'm not bad at Battlefield. I get it. I'm a lot better at Battle Company 2 than I was Battlefield 3, but I'm just like, I, I get it. I've I played Battlefield since 2004. I get it. 
played Desert Combat. That was my first experience into a Battlefield game. Again, that's a mod, but still. It's Battlefield. And I just like, I don't feel this. So I'm afraid I'm, I might be done. I'll still think about getting Battlefield for the next game consoles, but I really don't know what to think. So, yeah. It was just a very uninteresting experience for me. And I've been completely uninterested in Battlefield 4 ever since first stuff was shown up. Everyone's like, look at the graphics, look at it, and I'm like, PC. <clears throat> PC. PC. But look at the graphics in the PC. I won't be on the console or PC. Now, next gen stuff's gonna look really, 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 really badass. I'll admit that it's gonna look really cool. It's gonna be really easy to have those kind of graphics on those on on a console. But it's just like, eh. I don't know. I've been looking for more interesting game experiences in the past several months, and uh, the two shooters, the, the two not two shooters, but the two style of shooters I were playing were were things like Unreal Tournament or Quake Live. These fast twitch heavy skill based like actual shooting skill based shooters or a more single player style drawn out campaign like the bad company games or the classic style run and gun that's not two types anymore two or three types or the classic style run and gun just you know wolfenstein doom quake i played a lot of quake over the summer those games are great so i like that's aspect. I'm, I'm. I think I'm re really feeling done with a lot of the, the just run around and mash a guy down, online shooter, experience now. I don't know what it is. So, having said all that, I'm looking forward to Titanfall. I think Titanfall is going to do something cool. But currently. I don't think I'm interested in Battlefield. And I'll still think about getting it for the next gen platforms. But right now, I don't care. I'll leave the beta on my PS3. I'll think about playing it a little bit later on. Maybe a couple more days if it's still available. I don't know how long it's going to be here. Because I, I haven't looked anything up about it. I don't really care. So, yeah. I don't know what it is. Anybody else feel this way? I know, I know the general trend is that like shooters have become more and more uninteresting since 2007 when they hit their massive peak Call of Duty Halo 3 um, that whole setup I know they've been losing popularity in the past two three years but still I don't know I've been I've been playing other games besides shooters lately and I've been having great phenomenal experiences and Battlefield was the one shooter series the one online shooter series that consistently gave me that. Call of Duty is a mishmash sack of junk. Thrown together and every single match feels forced and stupid. Battlefield is concise, good, purposeful. Everything feels great about it. And I'm not interested in this game at all. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. I'll catch you guys later.